Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. Aversion is the topic of this video, and we're still learning to master categorical propositions. Now, aversion, like conversion, is a procedure that can be performed on categorical propositions. Now, there are two steps involved with aversion. One, change the quality, and two, replace the predicate term to its complement. Remember, we'll be changing the quality and the predicate. Now, do you remember what a qualifier is? Well, the quality of a categorical proposition is either affirmative or negative. And the relationship between the subject and the predicate is either affirmed or denied. If it is affirmed, then we're going to deny it. If it is denied, then we're going to affirm it. Now, when it comes to changing the predicate term to its complement, well, for simple predicates, we'll just insert or delete the prefix non. For example, B will be replaced with non-B, and non-B will be replaced with B. All right, let's perform a version on some categorical propositions. Here's an E proposition. First, we change the quality. Then, we change the predicate. Now you see the obverse. Here is another example. For this I proposition, we first changed the quality. Then, we complement the predicate. Now you see the obverse. And here's another example. This is an I proposition with a negated predicate. First we change the quality. Then we change the predicate with its complement. Now you see the obverse. Obversion gives logically equivalent results for all four types of categorical propositions. For example, the obversion of this A proposition, all cats are mammals, is no cats are non-mammals, which means the same thing. They have the same truth value. They are logically equivalent. The obversion of this I proposition, some fish are animals, is some fish are not non-animals, which means the same thing. Same truth value, logically equivalent. Let's move on. Complementing the predicate. Now for simple predicates, like animals, mammals, cats, fish, we can simply attach the prefix non. But when it comes to more complex predicates, like politicians unconcerned about individual safety, or lawyers motivated by narcissistic greed, we must get a little more creative to complement these predicates. For example, if we obvert no public figures are politicians unconcerned about individual safety, it is best to write all public figures are politicians concerned about individual safety. And to complement the predicate politicians unconcerned about individual safety, it is best rendered politicians concerned about individual safety. All right, let's work a few practice problems. Practice problem number one. If this proposition is false, what is the obverse and its truth value? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The qualifier changed from no to all the predicate has been replaced with its complement, and the truth value remains the same. Next practice problem. If this proposition is false, what is the obverse and truth value? The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The quality has been changed, and the predicate has been replaced with its complement. The truth value remains the same. Next practice problem. If this proposition is true, what is the obverse and its truth value? The answer will appear in three, two, 
one. Ding! The quality has been changed, and the predicate has been replaced with its complement. The truth value remains the same. A very good job on those practice problems. Now, after you master categorical propositions, you will advance to the next level. See my other videos on logic, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.